And the release of that video that's just so hard to watch has a lot of parents wondering how, if at all, they should expose their children to what happened. We spoke with one expert who says your response depends on what's best for you. CBS 2's Asal Razai is live in the newsroom with how you need to check in with yourself before talking to your kids. Asal. Yeah, Mugo, and it may come as a surprise, but experts say a child is actually never too young to talk about this. How the conversation starts and ends is obviously critical. With younger children, it can begin with a focus possibly on safety without showing videos and images that can obviously be harmful to mental and physical health. Older children may better understand conversations surrounding issues of racial disparity and bias. There's a need or far too often we want to rush in and, and of course protect those those young and small vulnerable people. But if we're out of sorts, right, if we're dealing with this increased anger or anxiety, that can actually shift the, the conversation in a way that may not be productive or helpful or may even induce more fear. Another important note from that counselor is that while we uh, don't want to leave out the challenges, we do still want to instill hope in our youth. So it could be helpful to find organizations or mentors in your community that are working towards positive change. I'm live in the newsroom. Asal Rezai, CBS 2 News. Asal, thank you.